is the loss of water from a plant in the form of water vapor. Water is absorbed by roots from the soil and transported as a liquid to the leaves via xylem. This process helps in exchange of gases sending out excessively absorbed water. The absorption and the distribution of water in plants providing coolness to the plant body, osmotic balance of the cell is maintained by transpiration. Well friends, means of transport that is by diffusion, plant water relations, water potential, osmosis, plasmolysis, imbibition. Imbibition is very important, long distance transport of water. The main parts of the plant is uh, leaf, stem and root system. Shoot system that is leaf and stem, root system roots. The leaf anatomy, opening and closing of tomata, apex, margin, veins, midrib, base, petiole and stipule. The anatomy of the plant is also important in the transportation in plants. This is leaf anatomy. We will discuss leaf anatomy well in detail. Stomata is an important organ in the leaf, which is villa cell pent up manier appear osmosis taking place carbon dioxide in and oxygen is out along with water vapor. Stomata are the cellular pores on the surface of plant leaves that we know. Classification of plant tissue, meristematic tissue and permanent tissue. Cell transport requires energy, active transport in osmosis does not require energy that is passive transport Hello. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Is that means of transport diffusion is very important here the diffusion of molecules through xylem and phloem stomata the stomata in the leaf stoma the pore in the leaf. So my dear friends, facilitate, facilitated diffusion as pointed out earlier, a gradient must already be present for diffusion to occur. The diffusion rate depends on the size of the substances, obviously smaller substances diffuse faster. The diffusion of any substance across a membrane also depends on its solubility in lipids the major constraint of the membrane. They do not set up concentration gradient. A concentration gradient must already be present for molecules to diffuse even if facilitated by proteins. This process is called facilitated diffusion. This is the facilitated diffusion. Outer side of the cell membrane and this is the transport protein, transport molecule inner side of the cell. See my dear passive transport uh, and uh, antiport some carrier or transport proteins allow diffusion only if two types of molecules move together. And this is transportation in plants. Active transport uses energy to transport and pump molecules against a concentration gradient. Active transport is carried out by specific membrane proteins and different proteins in the membrane play a major role in both active as well as in passive transport. So friends, transportation consists of active transport and passive transport. Pumps are proteins that use energy to carry some substances across the cell membrane. These pumps can transport substances from a low concentration to a high concentration. So, here is important. 
uphill transport. Transport rate reaches a maximum when all the protein transport transports transporters are being used or saturated. Like enzymes, the carrier protein is very specific in what it carries across the membrane. These proteins are sensitive to in inhibitors that react with protein side chains. So here this is plasmalized water outside the membrane. Here placid water outside the membrane and it is turgid water inside enter into the membrane by so here another important thing symplast and apoplast so this is the root system plasma and the plasma membrane epidermis outermost layer of the root cortex then epidermis then pericycle which is nothing but exylum the tissue so this is very important transport in plants